Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine. My name is James and I am Scuba Diver Magazine's man in Miami. I'm a professional dive instructor and digital content creator and Scuba Diver Magazine have brought me over from my channel, Divers Ready, to make content with one simple goal in mind, to help make you a better scuba diver. And today I'm super excited because I get to let my OCD freak flag fly. We are making a video all about travel packing and oh boy, am I the right guy to make this video. And coincidentally, my channel Divers Ready is heading to Bahamas this week. So I'm gonna be packing for a trip anyway. This is me actually packing how I would pack to go on a dive trip and not just doing it for the sake of the video. So that's kind of nice too. The trip we're going on, obviously tropical warm water. We're only going for the equivalent of a long weekend. Uh, so you're gonna get to see my kind of dive travel light, if you will. This isn't like two weeks of expedition cold water diving. So obviously when you're packing for your trip, you're gonna to wanna to consider the type of diving you're gonna be doing. And if you wanna see our footage from our trip to the Bahamas, I will put a link to that playlist in the description of this video below. But for now, Let's dive straight in with my do's and don'ts for how to pack for a scuba trip. Starting with the do's. So my first do for you is do lay all your gear out so you can visualize the amount of space you need and choose a bag appropriate for the amount of equipment you need to bring with you. Don't go out and buy like the biggest dive gear bag you can find and then just insist on filling it and cramming it. That's not really an efficient way to travel. So I like to think about the type of diving I'm gonna be doing, any specialist gear I'm gonna need, lay it all out, and that way you can visualize exactly what you need to bring with you and then pick an appropriate size piece of luggage. So for example, the Bahamas trip, we're gonna be doing recreational, shallow, warm water dives. I don't need a wetsuit. I'm gonna be using my travel fins, my travel BCD, and it's gonna be a super lightweight trip. If I'm going for like four weeks in, in Nova Scotia, it's gonna be a completely different story. So my next do is to use a packing checklist. Now, my friends make fun of me because I have checklists to make sure that I've got all my checklists in order and they tell me that I can take pills for that these days. But then when my friends on the dive trip have forgotten an item, who they got to come and see to borrow from? That's right, Big J. Now, before you travel, do make sure that you contact your operator to find out if they have DIN or yoke tanks available and make sure that your regulators are compatible and check to see if you need to bring either DIN inserts if they'll work with their tanks or if they have them there, or if you need a yoke adapter if you're diving a DIN regulator. Okay, so on to the packing. Do use your tougher gear to protect your more fragile items. So the first thing I like to pack are my fins because they're gonna give rigidity to whichever bag I use and then I can pack my more fragile items around them. Nothing sucks more than showing up at a dive destination and your favorite mask has got a broken lens. And then one thing I like to do whenever I dive travel is to pack a mesh bag. They're lightweight, they fold up super small, but what I find I can do then is when I get to my accommodation, I can decant all of my dive kit into the mesh bag and use that to tote to and from the dive center. Okay, let's move on to some don'ts now. Don't number one, pack weight. Don't travel with weight. Seriously guys, it's 2019, but you'd be surprised. I shouldn't have to say this, but when I was running a dive center in the Caribbean, we would see divers fly in from Minnesota or Manchester, UK, that were bringing lead with them. If your dive operator that you've chosen to dive with on vacation can't supply you with lead, you probably shouldn't be diving with them. And the argument that these people would bring would be like, well, I know the exact amount of lead that I need and this is it. That's great. We also have lead in that number and know how to count. My next don't, and this is one very close to my heart, so I apologize if I get a little teary-eyed here, is do not ever check your regulators or your computer. So I like to put my computer into my reg bag and then look, they don't even go in the overhead bin, all right? They're my carry-on item, they're my personal item, whatever you want to say, they go on. They, I don't let them out of my sight, forget about it. Never check your regs or computers. I speak from bitter experience. So another don't is don't bring too many tools. Here in South Florida, I'm diving to my favorite dive centers and in the back of my truck, I keep a fairly large toolbox, saver dive kit, whatever you want to call it. When I'm going to go on vacation, I trust that the operators I'm gonna dive with will be able to lend me a wrench or a set of Allen keys or hex keys uh, to help me if I need to repair any gear. So I don't feel the need to pack up my entire workbench and travel with that. 
All I do is I take a very simple stripped down version of a Sega die kit and a few spare O-rings. So the last don't I have for you, ladies and gentlemen, is don't forget your chargers. Everyone packs their cameras and their torches and their computers and then, oh no, I forgot the chargers and they go dead during the trip. Don't presume that you'll be able to get those specialist items wherever you're traveling to. Make sure you pack them. So I recommend investing in a good cable organizer because again, OCD, and that way you can make sure you've got all your chargers laid out for any electrical device and also spare batteries for anything that's user changeable. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found this do's and don'ts video useful for your next dive travel trip. Let me know in the comments of this video below if I missed one of your favorite packing hacks because I love to learn from you guys as well. Right over here, I'm gonna put a playlist to all our other content here on Scuba Diver Magazine. And just below that, I'll let the YouTube algorithm pick the video that's next best for you. Until next time, my name's James. This is Scuba Diver Magazine. Dive safe, dive often.